Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2. We're going to do a new game, because there was a patch today, console development was in it, and guess what? If you want to develop consoles, you need to start a new game. So we're going to go Kando. We're going to, yeah, actually, let's do something different from RPG. We did RPG last time. What do we want to be? Sports games? Especially, it's good to take something that's early game to help get through that early game. Yes, yeah, so, you know what? We're going to go role-playing game again. We're going to go hard. We're going to go 1976. We're going to go normal. It's the number of competitors. Uh, what symbol do we want here? That one, sure. Uh, we'll go Looch Games. Sure. All right, let's get into it here. Uh, yeah, random. Sure. We'll be a game designer, yeah. Go game design programming specialty. For traits, we will go all rounder. We will go talented, as per usual. Uh, efficient, marginally faster. No, let's go. And engines much faster. Constantly have new ideas for sequels. When SQL is developed, these employees generate higher gameplay points. That is nice, because we do like uh, <laughs> we do like making sequels. Retro game. Lucky's always good. Air Free is great early game. So yeah, let's do Air Free. Let's do efficient. No, we'll do luck. We'll do whatever we'll do what we usually do. I know. That's kind of boring, but this is what it is. <laughs> Tutorial off. Do we want to try random game concept settings? Random platform popularity. I eh, will leave those off. We'll just go with this. Sure. Let's get into it here. So let's uh, get her locked in here. Let's sell this car. Let's uh, let's build our initial setup here. So I'm going to put a little break in here. I'll be back once my setup is done. All right. So I got my little starter setup here. Small staff room. Small toilets. Uh, three person research room, seven person development room. We got some carpets down, got some heaters. We got all the basics. So here's me. We're going to do research first. Let's see what we got for employees we can hire. We got a game designer, music and sound, hardware engineering, which is much more appealing <laughs> now that we can potentially make a console and game tester and research. So do we want to grab a research person? Just to get through some research quickly. Yeah. And then we will hire game designer. I think, well, they're on lucky. I don't like bad traits. Got a music and sound person here. They don't take breaks. Gun held. Welcome to the team. So let's research gameplay features. What's in miscellaneous? Console development. Oh my God, it's 10 million console development so it's going to be a minute before we can do console development but that is our goal that's what we're working towards that's what it's all about right now is making consoles <laughs> let's research those two things and then we will make a game and that game is probably going to suck that's okay we're we're aware of that we're okay with that embrace the suck at this point basically so there's me and Seahorde can stay there and do some more research. What else do we got? Who else can we hire here? We can hire this game designer. So what? he doesn't get lucky, but he doesn't take breaks and he doesn't get sick. And he complete all tasks marginally faster. Darius, welcome to the team. So what can he research? He can research. The research racing since it's the trend. Sure. So let's make... What kind of game do we want to make here? Guess we're making a skill game, because that's all we can do. <laughs> and we will make it pinball skill game. That makes sense. We'll call it Luchera Pinball. And we will make that for adults, I guess. Sure. Sure. We'll make that for bite one since it has higher user base still a tiny little user base but whatever so we'll put all the languages on they're pretty cheap to add a language at this point with this size of game 
There's really no reason not to. And we do not know what these are going to be in theory. I mean, I could look it up, but I'm not going to cheat. So we'll turn everything on here. And away we go. So this space is reserved for a QA room. We just need to uh, get some money in the bank before we can <laughs> actually build it. So I think I am going to wait until it is bug free. Okay, so we got some more people here. We got a programmer who's all around her. That's a no-brainer. I'd like to get a graphics person in here as well. All right, so let's continue development until it's bug free. Like I said, I'd like to get uh, no no graphic designers. We could do a second research person. Game design, talented. Yeah, let's, let's bring in Ezra. Although, don't want to go too crazy on employees early. Because they do cost money, right? So we're going to continue development until we get bug free. All right, so our researcher is done. So let's uh, research local high scores. We should get through that pretty quick. So actually, we're going to polish this until he's done. Actually, no, we'll put this out. We'll put this out. Finish development. Obviously, stars and everything because it's our first game. Um, We'll go... So they're paying me $9, but their market strength is only $15. They're paying me $8, but their market strength is $40. But their fan base is skill. You know what? I'm going to go with Epic Square. I'm going to go with the market strength. Generally speaking, I find following the market strength is the way to go. So I don't expect this game to be good at all. That's fine. Actually, 53% is not bad for a first game, if I'm being honest. What do we got here for contract work? 40,000. How much did it cost us to make that? 43,000. So we'd basically only get our money back if we did that. But it's guaranteed getting our money back, right? So let's do that. Uh, sure, radioactivity, whatever. We don't care. We don't care what the review is. We just got to get a 20% review, which we're going to get, right? We're not worried about that. And we'll just go, you know what? We'll just do this. Just so we can get an idea. We can judge by letters, right? What they wanted, what people wanted. And Sure. Pretty confident we're going to get that score. <laughs> now the question is, are we going to make enough money? We're going to make our money back on whichever pinball. Not a whole lot of sales the first week. That's fine. So we're just going to hand over the game. We don't care about bugs, right? I mean, we care, but we don't care. <laughs> 53 again. All right. Interesting. So we got a profit of 7,000 for that. Which, I mean, that barely pays our salaries, <laughs> right? But it does pay our salaries, right? So what do we want for a skill game? Aliens? Sure. Oh, oh I did not mean to pick up that desk. And we will take automatic off. And what we're going to do, actually, do a quick commission work here. That's, that's a good amount of money. Those two are. Just to kind of build up the bankroll here. Get some XP, you know. Actually, what we should do is we should be making a racing game right now, right? Oh, sales are up. Sales are up. That's good. All right, so... Hmm. Do I want to wait to make a racing game? You know, these, I would not make my money back unless I really skimped, right? Now, I could really skimp. Easily, I could skimp. I don't like I don't like skimping. I'm gonna be honest. So let's make. Hmm. I guess I can make a racing game with. Problem is we don't have a. We don't have a topic that fits for racing. I guess dog racing. Oh, dog racing. <laughs> I know it won't really. The game will not think that's a. <laughs> that that's a good. Uh, uh, topic, but whatever. I like it. 
I get a kick out of it, and that's important to me. So we're getting better. The reason why uh, we expect our scores to go up is because we get more points in those, right, largely. And racing, we don't really know. I think it's they want graphics for racing, I want to say. Something like that. Sure. Turn everything on here. And let's see what we can get from this. All right, so you finish that. Should I grab a second researcher? We do have one. Oh, we did. Is it still there? Yeah. Would like a graphics person. All these people. None of them graphics focused. Nope. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Do we got any good traits? Oh, we got a uh, leadership. Doesn't go to the bathroom. Does not need high quality office equipment. Sure, let's bring in Thassilo. And after we're done, we will continue development. We'll get rid. We'll get rid of some of those bugs. At least some of them. Probably all of them. We'll, we'll polish that up real good. All right, so let's uh, research an actual. Uh, topic that fits for racing. <laughs> Sales have dropped back down, but I think I'll make money out of that. A little bit. It won't be a lot of money, but it'll be some money. Which is the important thing. Alright, you know what? Oh, I was going to say three bugs is good enough for me, but then it dropped down to one. So, uh, so yeah, same two. So let's go with them again. Yeah, we're getting some getting some points, getting some stars, getting some experience. Starting to come together. That's a really bad game, though. That's really bad. That's not good. So we'll go back and make a skill game since we're uh, a little better at those right now, I guess you would say. We'll make alien skill game. We will call it Alien Invasion. And we will go Teenagers. Sure. Uh, we will make it for the bite. Of course. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Now here we're going to start looking at letters. So we'll share a pinball. Too much for core. Better level design. Better mission design. Too easy. So more casual. Too easy. Better level design. Better mission design. I think they said, right? So let's take points. We probably don't need story. Probably don't need character design, right? We'll try that. Yeah, we'll try like that. Turn everything on here. Three of them green. That's good. Basically, yellow is okay. Red means don't bother using it. And green means it's good for that, for that genre. So yeah, we will do that. Okay, what are we going to research over here? Do we want to grab, grab puzzle game? Grab another genre. So we are... We don't have a lot of money in the bank. We got to be careful right now, so that we just all our bugs went away to that event. So that's good. So let's uh let's get rid of the bugs again. I'd like to try to get a high score here if possible. So we are making money on the chair pinball, dog racing. We might make our money back. We might not. We'll see. All right. So that's some high scores. Really high gameplay score. That's good. That's good news. Oh, more people want this. So I'm going to go with go Data West. I mean, these two are the same, essentially, right? They both, both their fan bases are puzzle games. So once we are done of the puzzle game research, I think I'm going to do a puzzle game. Ooh, nice high score, 64%. So skill games we are kind of good at, right? So we should probably kind of focus on that a bit. So let's do, do an update for dog racing. So what this does, I mean, it makes it a better game, but it also generates hype. Right, which generates sales. And man, you can make updates fast. I forgot how quick you can make updates at this point in the game. I'll do a quick update for Alien Invasion. It's only 6,000 to do. That's pretty cheap, right? I guess we're also researching adventure. <laughs> I kind of forgot to change it. So let's make a puzzle game here. It's not terribly popular, but that's fine. Um, none of these really work with puzzle. We'll make it called Pinball Puzzle, I guess. 
and we'll make it for adults and we'll go the bite actually let's check take a look is there any other okay so that's just for arcade cabinets there's no other um dev kits to buy right now if we had 10 million we could research console development and make our own console but we are not quite there yet so we're just going to go with the basics here so we don't know so we'll turn all five of those on none of them are great but they're all at least relevant and away we go so how we do oh alien invasion is selling well there we go that's going to make some good money for me that's what we needed right there let's get rid of the bugs what do we want to research here what can we research let's research oh where's puzzles in case we want to make another puzzle game we want to have a relevant topic right and that will definitely be relevant so how much is it to make we need to research qa here i believe right how much does that cost it's more than i have i'm pretty sure uh, do I want to go? I'm just going to go with the middle booth. Allow me to put up two games. So we'll put up Alien Invasion. We'll put up Pinball Puzzle. That'll, that generates hype for those games, essentially. And hype, generally speaking, equals sales. So we'll finish development here. Getting some stars. That's good. Yeah, lots of people want this. So I'm not sure. Usually when you publish a game, or when somebody publishes a game, your relationship goes up. I've done two with them and one with them. My relationship hasn't gone up. Oh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. I'm not sure. Let's see how this is. This is our first puzzle game, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. Wow, 63%. That's good. That's good for our first game. First game in a genre at this point. So now I can make for two platforms. My rating has gone up. I'm a garage company now. Perfect. So now what do we want to make here? That's going to sell okay, I think. Let's do a quick up. Let's do a couple quick updates. We'll do an invasion. Get some hype for that. And then we'll do a pinball puzzle update. Get some hype for that. Now here, what do we want to do? How much is it for QA? 200,000. It's quite a bit more than we have right now. <laughs> Obviously. So what topics do we want to get here? What's good for what we have let's go cabs another racing game topic do an update for pinball puzzle get some hype going there so it is not selling as well as any innovation so i don't know if i'm gonna make much money off that that's fine if we made a profit off the chair pinball dog racing i don't think we're gonna make a profit off of alien invasion obviously is gonna be profitable it's already profitable I think this one, oh wow. Sales jumped way up in week two. Way up. I gotta stop having automatic on there. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh let's look at commission work right quick here. Ooh, we can make some quick money here. So let's blaze through these. We're still looking for a graphic person, aren't we? There we go. So what's this problem? They demand significantly higher salaries. I don't care if that office is dirty. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Now yeah, let's just bring in Valen Valentinius. Valentinus. Whatever. <laughs> so more people means we get through these quicker. Now get some money in the bank, right? Which is which is nice. But what else fits for like a skill game or a puzzle game? Maybe cyberpunk? Crime? Let's go crime. Oh my god, one of these times I'm going to remember to check, uncheck the automatic box. Maybe. Maybe I'll remember at some point. Yes, I know you're cold. Maybe go in the rooms where the heaters are instead of standing out in the hall. I don't know, just a thought. Can I put a heater out there? There. Maybe that'll help. Hopefully that helps. Should I bring in a second research person? Is there a second research person? Never goes to the bathroom. Sure. Welcome to the team, Roberto. It's probably not necessary, but it's good to have. 
Wow, pinball puzzles are really selling well. It's crazy. So what do I want to research now? Do I want to do the QA room? The sooner we get that, the better. Yeah, let's bang it out. I mean, that takes away all our bankroll, but we can always borrow from the bank. Right. So let's end automatic here. I think I'm going to do another update for both the Alien Invasion and Pinball Puzzle. So they're both still selling really strongly. Because there's still, still only 9,000 to do that. I'm pretty sure we'll get that back in extra sales. And goodwill, you know. If you make high quality games, people like that. Right? Generally. So the chair pinball is almost done. Dog racing is done. So we lost money on dog racing, but that's fine. Can't as long as you don't lose too many, and as long as you get some good, you know, ones that make a lot of money. So let's make another racing game. We will make this one cars or cabs. Let's go cars. And we will call it uh, Race Night. Because it is. It's Race Night. That's just how it is. What dev kits are out there? It's just the arcade cabinet. So we will go with Bite 2. Do we really want Fair Tech? Well, it costs 3300 but it's more time, right? Yeah, fine. we will. I mean, it's not many extra people. So it's a few extra potential sales. Not a lot, but yeah, whatever. All right, so let's take a look at dog racing. What do people have to say about that? They were annoyed at the quality. Too short, too much for core, more innovation. So we want game length, innovation, casual. And then better level design, too hard, too violent. Too hard, too violent, better level design. So let's turn down you and you and you i guess these we don't know we'll we'll get those once we have qa and we can do game reports so that'll be soon let's turn all those on away we go qa is coming real soon these are still selling really well they're pinball off the market but it made me thirty-four thousand, which is which is nice at this point in the game that's a good chunk of change. So we're going to continue development. We're going to get rid of the bugs. I do not release games with bugs. Unless it's a contract game, and then I don't care. <laughs> but my own games, no bugs. No bugs. All right, so. Three bugs left. This will be the last game that doesn't have QA, right? QA will very quickly get rid of the bugs. Let's finish development here. Oh, look at all those stars. That's a good sign. Yeah, I don't know why relationship's not going up. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Oh, no, there's a relationship. So I guess I was just getting unlucky. Maybe they didn't like... The games weren't high enough quality for them. I don't know. So a couple of those are pretty decent games. And this one's not that great either. I mean, 56 is fine, but it's not as good as, you know, these two. So let's do another pinball puzzle update. Yeah, no, this is going pretty well. But I need to get, was it 10 million for consoles? That's a lot, right? Like, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Do a quick update for that. We'll check commissions. See if we can make some quick money. I'd like to wait for QA before I make my next game. Yes, we'll, we'll do, we'll bang out these two commissions right quick. See, I got a nice little bankroll there now. I don't think... As long as I'm not worst game of the year, I'm happy. Oh, dog racing was the worst game of the year. So I lost all my fans. <laughs> but, I mean, that's not the end of the world. So what topic do I want to grab here? Oh, go bicycle. Just give me another option for, for racing games. It is the trend. It's going to be the trend for another 33 weeks. Right, so any other commission work? No, what about contract work? None of these pay all that well, if I'm being honest. So I don't think I'm going to take them. Do I want to do any updates? Pinball Puzzle is still selling really well. 
That's good. I mean, that's why I have all this money in the bank, right? <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, I guess I should build my QA room. Probably makes sense. All right, so we got QA. How many desks can I fit in here? Probably not a whole lot. Yeah, I think I can go three wide, though, yeah. I'll just go six for now. That should be enough. Get some uh, get some heat in here. Water dispenser. Coffee maker. Trash can. Medicine cabinet. And then we'll make it all pretty. Put a plant in, in maybe. A couple of plants. What about what kind of carpets do we want in here? Maybe some of these hexagons. And one here. No, it won't fit. It's the name of these. Oh, this one's been smaller. Still won't fit, though. There. Yeah, that's not centered, but whatever. If that triggers you, I apologize. <laughs> I get it, but it is what it is. Those are also not centered. <laughs> All right, is there any game testers on the market? That's the real question. There's two. They don't have negative traits, so we are going to scoop them right up. So we have QA. Early. That's early for QA. So we're going to make one more game, I think, here. We just did racing, puzzle, skill. Let's go back to skill. We're pretty good at skill, right? We've got our highest ratings for skill games thus far. Oh, well, let's go... Crime, I guess. <laughs> Call it crime scene. I, I doubt that. I highly doubt that fits for a skill game, but whatever. It's all good. Any dev kits out there? Nope. Still just the bite and the fair tech. That's just fair, but yeah. Just fair tech. Alright, so alien invasion. Let's take a look at the ladders here. Actually, before we do that, let's uh Copy design settings. Okay, so that's where they were. Railing invasion. And then they want more beginner friendly. Too much for core. Better level design. More beginner friendly. I think it was, right? Yeah. Better mission design. Too much violence. Too easy. Too violent. Too easy. Too violent. Too easy. Better mission design. Try that, I guess. Should be better. I mean, anytime you adjust these based off letters, it's always going to be a little better, right? I think the reason why we get such high scores for skill games is because three of these five things are green for skill games, right? I think is a big part of the reason. Let's turn all this on. So it's going to cost us a little more to put this game out, obviously. But I think it'll be worth it. So we could also do... Subtopic and subgenre. As we as we do these things, we got to watch our bank account, right? We don't want to completely zap our bank account researching things that we don't really need, like things that are nice but we don't need. You know, what we need though is more people in our QA room. <laughs> but there isn't anybody out there, so what? Let's just throw this office worker in. They're marketing and support, so once we get support and or marketing. We can move them. But for now, we'll just throw them in there because they had a decent score for, for, for game testing. So they're on their last thing, and then they'll bug fix. So watch these bugs go down. There we go. That's what QA brings to the table. Which is perfect. Okay, is it time for a third researcher? I think I can... I think it's time to have a third researcher. All around her. I don't know... Yeah, no, that can work for a, for a researcher, the way I use my researchers in this game. All right, so we are almost bug-free. And then they start polishing once they're done with bugs. But we are going to cancel this. And we are going to create game reports. We're going to go through all these games, make reports. And then we can start making even better games. Oh, got new research as well. We're going to finish development here. See how high this score is? 
that's because of QA. Look how many people want to make our game now. <laughs> we already have a relationship with them, which is surprising because I don't remember. Oh, that must have been the contract game I did. But they have, it's only $6 payment, but that's really high market strength. And their their fan base is uh, Guild Game. So Data West is upset that I didn't go with them. I apologize, Data West. <laughs> so hope, can we get our first 70 plus score? We sure can. 74%, so that's gonna sell well. So now we can make sequels, which is huge. All right, so let's grab this engine feature. Oh, we got console features coming in, but we don't have console development yet. That's coming, that's coming, coming in hot. Keyboard support, all right, that's the console feature. That makes sense. All right, that's cool though. That's gonna be all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. Be good to each other, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.